But how about your favorite bet from the 7 p.m. slate? Uh, where are you going to go for this one, Steve? Yeah, so you know what? This is a slate that is really odd and everything. So why don't we just back really bad teams? How about the Tigers over three and a half runs at minus 108? I mean, to be fair, this Tigers team averaging 6.6 runs per game over their last three games. Their offense has been pretty, has been doing pretty well. And this was a very, very good club against lefties last year. Like we want to talk, you know, we keep bringing up that dope Kenny, you know, who was saying today, you know, they're not that good against lefties so far. They have the lowest plate appearances against lefties so far this season at 58. For reference, Houston leads the league at 223. So let's give them a little chance to actually get some reps in against lefties. But if you go back to the numbers last year, they were one of the best offenses in the league against lefties. So again, a low total. You're getting close to plus money on this one. It's only at minus 108. This could move a little bit as the day goes on. But over three and a half runs is not asking for a lot against an offense that, quite frankly, is hitting the ball already. So over three and a half runs, that's what I'm looking at for tonight. All right, Gary, where are you going? I'm going to stick in that same game, and it's because I fear the Tigers' offense that I'm not looking to, like, back Oakland on the money line or, like, invest all that heavily in Sean Mania. But I will say his strikeout prop is pretty low on this slate. It's just four and a half. And yes, Manaya is not a guy who, you know, dating back to his sophomore season has been a strikeout pitcher, even though we thought he had the potential to be that when he was a prospect. However, you look at his first two starts. There's a couple things you have to know. One, both were against Houston who right now has the lowest strikeout rate in the American league. So mm -hmm. the fact that he didn't rack up a bunch of strikeouts makes a lot of sense. They're at 18.6%. The Tigers are one of seven teams in baseball with a strikeout rate above 27%. So they're going to help him out in that regard. Also, his average fastball velocity is back up to 91.5 miles per hour. That doesn't seem like a lot, but for him, that's the highest it's been since 2017. So he might be, I don't want to say like a renaissance because he was never that good to begin with, but I think he's a solid pitcher. He had a really good six inning start against the Astros last time. If he can survive six innings against the Tigers, he's going to strike out at least five guys. Nick, these guys are focused on this Tigers game. Where, what about you? I'm not going to be there. I feel a little... I don't know if I say dirty for taking this one, but we got Rockies Dodgers under 7.5, seven and a half runs. I had it at plus money before, but that's changed a little bit. I'm seeing that minus 110. Look, it's not in Coors Field. So I, that's, if it was at Coors Field, I wouldn't even remotely entertain this. But the Dodgers have gone under Thursday's total six out of eight times so far this season outside of their opening series at Coors. The Rockies haven't gone over this total at all yet on the road. So I'm, I'm going to ride that right now, see if I can get a little bit lucky. And then Urias is pitching tonight, too. And Urias has been – he did great against the Rockies last time, of course. So I feel like we're going to get that there, too, uh, again tonight. 